Hi everybody, this is Atik. I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Today I am going to start a series of concepts on the topic graphs. This graph is one of those important topic in data structures without which there will be no question paper in the exams. Okay. You know that already we have completed a series of concepts on the topic trees. I have told you what is a tree, then I told what is the use of binary tree and what the type what are the types of binary trees available you know that we have completed five types of binary trees binary search tree heap tree avl tree b tree and red black trees these are the various types of trees that are available okay and whenever we are talking about the concept of trees in data structures it is injustice if we won't tell or if we won't speak or if we won't discuss about graphs because once we have understood the concept of trees, then it is automatically easy for all the students to understand the graphs. That's why I will recommend all of you to understand the concepts of trees first. Then you can come to this concept. Okay. So anyhow, let us start the concept of graphs now. My dear students, first of all, let us concentrate on the definition of what is a graph in data structures first. A graph is nothing but set of objects and links what is a graph in our data structures a graph is nothing but it is a combination of objects and links you know that what is the definition of a tree in tree also we have two things a tree is a combination of nodes and links here we are talking about objects and links okay sir then what is the difference sir between a graph and a tree once i will complete this video there i am going to explain you at the end what is the main difference between a graph and a tree because i told that in tree also we are having some set of nodes and links in graph also we are having some set of objects and links what is the main difference let us see now so these objects in our concept of trees we call them as nodes but in the terms of graphs, we are calling these objects as vertices. What we call those set of objects in our graphs, we call them as vertices and links are referred as edges. So these are the two terms we need to use in graphs. A graph is also a collection of objects and links. Here the objects are referred as vertices, links are referred as edges. It is clear now. Now, sir, how to represent a graph, sir? Suppose, how to find out whether it is a graph or whether it is a tree? That I am going to explain now. Now, in, when we are talking about representation of a graph, how we can represent a graph, Ms. my dear students? Let us take one example. Okay. this is a vertex here also we are representing the vertex with a circle inside the label so what we what is the label we have taken here vertex name vertex name is we have taken is a let us take one more vertex b let us take one more vertex c d e okay now what I am doing means I am connecting these vertices, vertex with the help of this lines. We call these lines as edges or links. This is nothing but the edges. Okay. Hope you got the point has been clear to you. If I ask you how many vertex or how many vertices are there in this graph? The answer is 5. What are those vertices? A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Next, if I talk, next, if I ask you one more question that how many edges are available in this graph? You know what answer you will give? You can give and you can count the answer like this. This is the edge number 1, edge number 2, edge number 3, edge number 4 and edge number 5. Okay. What is the use of the edges in this graph? The main purpose of using these edges is to connect one vertex to another vertex. In order to connect one vertex to another vertex, we will use 
it just now generally in exams what they will give means they will ask you define graph explain the concept of graph with an example then what you can do you can write some theory points you can explain all those what is meant by vertex what is meant by edge then you can take the same example and you can elaborate the matter now once we have completed this is a one graph now one graph has been generated what we need to find out after drawing this graph we need to find out the set of vertices set of vertices is represented by a capital letter v is equal to use this opening brace and write down the name of the vertices first vertex name a comma second vertex name b comma c d e so these are nothing but set of vertices which is represented by capital v next we need to determine the edges edges are represented by capital e e is equal to now this first edge is connected to which vertices vertex a is connected to vertex b with the help of this edge that's why you need to write a b this is first edge connection second edge connection let us take this one a to c is also connected with the help of one edge so write down a c next b to d is also connected with the help of one edge so here b d c to d is also connected with the help of one edge c d and d to e is also connected with the help of an edge that's why d e so these are nothing but set of edges that have been connected between two vertices which is represented by capital e so my dear students this is a graph generally the graph is represented with the help of a letter capital g vertices are represented with the help of a letter capital v edges are represented with the help of letter capital e okay now this is a graph you can ask one question to me as i have promised to you that i will tell one difference sir what is the difference between a graph and a tree sir in tree also we are having similar there we call the there we will use this object name as nodes yes or no when we are talking about trees these circles are become these circles we need to refer it as a nodes but in terms of graphs we need to call it as a vertex this is vertex a vertex b vertex c vertex d vertex e and all these combined together they will become vertices it is clear when we are talking about trees my dear students in case of trees we need to refer this objects as nodes node a node b node c node d node e okay there we call the edges as links okay the difference between a graph and tree first difference is in terms of words which will which we will use to pronounce here we are in terms of graphs we are calling them vertex and edges in terms of trees we are calling them as nodes and links you keep this aside this is one physical difference that we will use next important difference sir if tree is available and graph is given for us how we need to find out which is a graph and which is a tree my dear students the main difference between a graph and a tree is in a graph is nothing but can be a cyclic one you know what is the meaning of cyclic the quality of a graph is it can be cyclic you know what is the meaning of cyclic a cyclic is nothing but which has no end actually you can see here from vertex a to vertex b edge is there vertex b to vertex d edge is there d to c is also edge c to a is also edge can you see any type of directions here any type of type of directed edges here no which means there is no way that we can find out which is the end here in the graph whereas in tree a tree is nothing but a which follows a cyclic structure you know what is the meaning of acyclic a cyclic structure a cyclic structure is nothing but which is not in a cyclic manner you know we can say that this is the root node we can say this is the last node of the tree we can tell that point difference whereas in graphs there is no end to the graph a graph is generally in the form of cyclic structure whereas a tree is generally not a, in a cyclic structure if any if if suppose in a exam if they give choose the correct option to you and they will ask you which of the following is is a graph which of the following is a graph four diagrams are given to you now how you can find out which is a graph there should be three trees in that and there should be one graph in choose the correct option how you can tell this answer how you can tell this answer means you follow this structure 
if a, a graph is generally closely connected with the help of edges okay because you can't say sir d is the end sir e is the end sir again from e to d also link is there edge is there because there is no direction here if the direction is from d to e then we can say e is at the end e is the end vertex but here there is no clarity that's why this is a graph okay hopefully the point has been clear to you now if you take an example of tree or a binary tree this is a this is b and this is c this is an example of a tree which has a root node child nodes now one more question sir in every trees or every binary trees which we have discussed there will be always one top node which is a root node what about in graph sir whether there will be any root vertex in the graph the answer is no there is no such concept in graphs which we where we can say there is a root vertex all the vertex will have equal priority the only point you need to find out is how many vertex are there in the graph and how many edges are there in the graph okay now this is the main concepts which, which i thought to explain in my introduction video to you hopefully the concepts have been cleared related to graph and the main difference between a graph and a tree is a graph follows a cyclic structure whereas in tree there will be no cyclic structure at all this is the main difference that you people have to remember okay so in my next classes of data structures i am going to focus about what are the operations we can perform on the graph okay there are two major very very important concepts one is depth first search dfs and bfs breadth first search these are the two major algorithms that i am going to discuss in my next set of videos so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah hafiz Thank you.